Hey there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this two minute tutorial, we're going to take a look at calculations in Adobe XD. Now this is a new feature, so make sure you've got the latest update. And we're going to start by grabbing the rectangle tool. And let's just give this shape a fill color. And I'll make this the entire width and height of the artboard, which is of course 1920 by 1080. So let's just say that this is a, a home page, and I want to divide this into three sections. Normally, you'd have to go and get your calculator and do 19, 20, da, 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 and that's really, really time consuming. An easier way to do this now is to simply go up here to the width, the height, the X and the Y property fields. And after the 1920, you can simply type a plus for addition, a minus sign, you can type an asterisk for multiplication or a forward slash for divide. So if I wanted to, to divide this shape that I've created into three, I simply type 1920 forward slash three, press return, and it does the maths for me. And you can even go one step further as well. And you could type minus 10 plus 20 divided by six, and then it go and does some crazy math there as well. But this is fine. I've now divided this by three, and I can then simply grab something like the repeat grid tool, reduce that gap to zero, bring this out, grab some imagery, drag it in, and there we go, we are done. And in fact, before we finish, I'm just going to show you one more new feature in the latest update. You can now do that. You can drag in a bunch of images into a repeat grid group, and then you can double click to go inside it and you can go and actually adjust the crop. Now before in the previous version of XD, you couldn't make that many adjustments by using the repeat grid group tool, but now you can. So there we go, we're done.